Warranties in SAP Business One can be created automatically for items that are managed by serial numbers. Templates can be established for each different type of warranty, so you do not have to re-enter in the specific warranty information for each item. Let's navigate to Inventory, Item Master Data to see how a warranty is set up for an item. On the Item Master Record, the item must be managed by serial numbers in order to display the Warranty Template field on the Item Master. The Warranty Template field is where you can set up different warranty templates and assign a specific template to an item. When you select the ellipse in the Warranty Template field, you will be taken to the list of contract templates currently in your system. If you would like to add a new template, simply select the New button at the bottom. Doing so will display the contract template screen. You can also access the screen by going to Administration, Setup, Service, Contract Templates. In the Contract Template Setup window will be various fields that affect how the warranty will function. In the Name field is where you can specify the name of the warranty. This name will display in the Warranty Template field on the Item Master and in the Template field on the Service Contract screen. Since we are dealing with a warranty, the contract type will need to be set to Serial Number. In the Response Time field is where you can specify the maximum amount of time allowed for a user to respond to a service call that is created for the item under warranty. The Resolution Time field is where you can specify the maximum amount of time allowed for the service issue to be resolved. Below that in the Description field is where you can assign a description to the warranty template. This will be visible on the service contract that is created for the warranty. Over on the right side of the screen will be an expired checkbox. When a contract template is no longer used, you can select the expired checkbox to change all the fields on the template to inactive. The template will also no longer be available for selection in the warranty template field. Next, in the duration field, is where you can specify how long the warranty will last once the item has been purchased. The renewal checkbox when checked will indicate that a warranty based on this template should be renewed once its validity period ends. If the renewal checkbox is checked, then you will be able to enter in a value in the reminder field. This will send a renewal alert the amount of days entered prior to the termination of the warranty. Under the coverage tab will be where you can specify during which days and hours the customer is entitled to receive service for the product. You can also select if the warranty includes the parts, labor, or travel costs. Finally, the Including Holidays checkbox will indicate if the customer is entitled to receive service on the holidays. Over on the Remarks tab is where you can enter in contract template specific remarks that will display on the service contract screen for every warranty that uses this template. Lastly, on the Attachments tab is where you can add attachments to the contract template by selecting the Browse button. Once you finally assign a contract template to the Warranty Template field on the Item Master, warranty service contracts will automatically be created when the item is on either a delivery or AR invoice document. If the delivery is created, then the warranty service contract will be created when the delivery document is added. If only the AR invoice is created without any delivery document associated with the transaction, the warranty service contract will be created when the AR invoice is created. Let's take a look at an example when adding a delivery document. On this delivery is an item that is managed by serial numbers and has a warranty template assigned to it. Once I add the delivery document and select a serial number, a warranty service contract will automatically be created since there is a warranty template assigned to the item on the item master. Now if we go to service, service contract, and go to the last data record, we will see the newly created warranty service contract for the item that is on the delivery document we added. The information that is populated on the warranty service contract comes from the template that is assigned to the item master record for the item. If any parts of the warranty need modified for this specific item, you can do so by modifying the desired areas of the warranty service contract and selecting update to save your changes. If in the future a service incident were to occur, 
when the service call is created for the item with the same serial number as the warranty service contract, it will automatically be applied to the service calls tab on the warranty service contract screen. The contract number of the warranty will also appear on the service call that was created. The service contract number will appear in the contract number field on the service call. The warranties functionality in SAP Business One is a useful tool for automatically assigning warranties to items in your system. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.